What, what a life these cicadas live. I mean, they come out of the ground, 17 years, they look around for somebody, they find another cicada, they mate, then they go into the dirt for another 17 years. Yeah. That's a, what a life that is. And you said you can't even hear them in your no, neighborhood anymore. No, no. I mean, I, I thought maybe they were gone already. Walking the dog, heard absolutely nothing. But uh, WMR2 News, Megan Knight has the real story of what's going on. She <laughs> talked to the bug guy about the final act of the cicadas. Well, for about a month, we've heard the deafening sound of the brood 10 cicadas as they emerge from under the ground to do two things, mate and die. But lately, the chorus of cicadas has grown much quieter. It's really winding down. Uh, we're past peak now. We're definitely on the uh, decline. So Dr. Michael Raup is an entomologist and professor at the University of Maryland. Don't. He's also known as the bug guy and the go-to cicada expert. He says the female cicadas are now laying their eggs, and both the males and females are dying off. When I think by the 4th of July, I think everybody's going to be out of the trees and basically returning to the food chain as fertilizer for our, our trees and shrubs. One telltale sign of where cicadas are laying their eggs is clusters of brown dead leaves on trees. Rapp says the females cut slits into thin branches, causing them to either break off or turn brown, called flagging. So I think by the middle of July, moving on into August, those tiny eggs will complete their development. The nymphs, the immature stage, which will be about the size of a grain of rice, will then tumble to the earth. They'll dig in, they'll find the roots of trees, and they'll begin to feed again underground for the next 17 years, making their grand appearance in 2038. So what does Dr. Raup's crystal ball say about the next round of Brood 10? Well, he says it will depend on land use changes, but overall... I think here in the mid-Atlantic region, here in the DMV, for example, I think we can look forward to another bumper crop of periodical cicadas of Brood 10 in 2038. And while this might be the end for the 2021 Brood 10 cicadas, it's not so for other broods of periodical cicadas. There are more than a dozen of them across the country, and Dr. Raup says at least one of them emerges each year. But what makes Brood 10 a little extra special and perhaps more newsworthy is its size. It covers 15 states from New York to Georgia, from Maryland to Illinois. So we all get to say farewell, Brood 10 cicadas. We're going to miss you, sort of. I'm Megan Knight with WMAR2 News.